Okay guys, I'm gonna do a video today on my most carried knives, the knives that I put in my pocket almost every day. Um, just the ones that in my mind are better for work. And then obviously I've got some that I don't really carry that much, maybe just to church or you know some kind of special event. But I'm gonna do my top three everyday knives, which you see at the bottom. Um, and then the ones along the top are just going to be some bonus knives that I think are good choices uh, for an everyday pocket knife. So we'll start right here with this Jumbo Stockman. This is just a real classic chestnut bone um, Jumbo Stockman. This is the 6375. Um, it's about four and a quarter, four and three eighths long. It's just a real good size. Got some great blade choices here. If you don't know, um, a typical stockman has a sheep's foot blade. You'll have a spade blade, sometimes a pin blade, sometimes a punch. Mo most typically it'll be a spade blade. And then your uh, main blade will be a clip point. Um, this one's in chrome vanadium. And you'll notice a theme here. My everyday knives, my top three knives, they're all chrome vanadium. Uh, Case has a 1095 steel out now, but I don't have any of them. I'd like to get one and try it, but as of right now, I've just got a few of the chrome vanadium, and uh, they do seem to hold a better edge and keep it keep an edge better than uh, stainless. Even though I can sharpen up stainless to a hair splitting edge, it won't keep that edge quite as long as these um, chrome vanadium blades do. If you look at this knife and you think it looks a little different, I kind of got ambitious and put a little swedge on these blades. Um, I sort of just knocked the corner off the clip point and then I came in below the nail nick and I put this little swedge on here. I did the same thing here with the sheep's foot and the spay blade. On the nail nick side, I came in below the nail nick and did a little, a little uh, chamfer there, a swedge. Same thing over here, and then on the back side, I sort of just went the length of the blade and knocked the corner off. And um, I guess I just kind of got adventurous and I did that. I had some luck doing that to a Rough Rider, and I guess I thought I was good enough at it to put them on this case knife. And there's been times where I thought maybe I should have left it alone, but I, I think all in all, it's, it's pretty cool that way. Moving on. Uh, the next two knives are going to be case uh, trappers. These are uh, large trappers, I guess you'd call them. They're not the minis, although I have a mini up here. I'm going to show you in a second. This is the um, Pocket Worn Whiskey Bone. Like I said, it's a um, also chrome vanadium. You can tell they're, uh, they've got the natural patina. All of my patina comes pretty much from peeling apples, uh, the occasional potato, and steak red meat hot red meat and um a1 sauce actually seems like it puts a pretty dark patina on a pocket knife but these large trappers are pretty good they're uh second to the to the stockman in my opinion just because you're short one blade but um you've got your uh you know typical spade blade for a secondary clip point blade for the uh main Moving on. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to get a better setup. Moving on, another uh, large trapper, chrome vanadium, amber bone this time. Another case classic. I, I feel like the chestnut bone and the amber bone, and I guess you could throw the yellow delrin in there. To me, those are like the three um, absolute classic case colors uh, for handle material. But this one here I got at a, a little local hardware store up in town. And I really like buying from places like that because you're supporting someone local and you have the opportunity to look at the knife before you buy it. This one isn't perfect. The blade centering is not, you know, absolutely perfect. But it's um, put together pretty well and the blades have a great action. They, they snap pretty hard. Open and closed. So there's my third. These are the three knives. One of these knives is gonna be in my pocket just about every day, unless I just get adventurous and uh, take something different. Or if I have a new knife, I'll probably have a new knife in my pocket if I've got one of those. Um, 
you'll see the little Zippo lighter here. I don't smoke and I don't even need a lighter that often, but I think they're cool. And I think it's something cool to have handy when you need it. So I brought out a couple of more knives here that I feel like make pretty good um, everyday carry choices. Now I'll move straight to this one. This is a trapper. I just showed you uh, two trappers. This one's no different except when i bought this one it was a really pale ugly bone it wasn't white it was just kind of an old ugly tan and the only reason i bought it is because i got it for like 15 or 20 bucks and i was like man i can't hardly pass that up and i first thought about trying to dye the handles and then i was at work one day and i thought you know i'm gonna take a torch to it and um see what i can do with it and this side looks pretty good it's a little darker you got to be careful you can burn these things up if you're not careful this side i got really black on the edges and then the face didn't get quite as dark as i wished it would but this one i almost put in a category with like a rough rider it's a good quality knife but i got it so cheap that it didn't bother me to modify it a little bit you'll see this uh jimping i put this jimping on here this is a stainless knife by the way um you can tell that by looking at it but um i put this jimping on here with a little deburr bit that i had at work and um i wouldn't do that to these nicer ones just because i don't like to mess with them too much but i tell you what for this knife you get your thumb right there and that's got a good feel to it i mean it does you're not going to slip off of that so after i did that i thought you know that, that's not bad that's that's pretty good a uh, little modification and i didn't do the spade blade um you know i just did the clip but anyway yeah i'm, I'm not too this you know I'm, I'm pretty happy with that one moving down the line if y'all seen some of my other videos y'all know i'm a big fan of the copper lock especially the large copper lock i don't even own a mini because i feel like i don't know i work in a machine shop and i wear jeans every day i don't mind having a big knife on my pot you know on my side i typically wear them in a in a sheath like this and I can put a lot of different knives in this sheath. It'll hold a copper lock. The copper lock's a little thinner, so it doesn't hold it as tight. But normally I put a, a trapper knife in this one. This one here will also uh, accept the uh, Stockman, the large Stockman. So I wear something like this every day. And I made these myself out of uh, old boots. You could probably recognize the loop like you'd have on the very top of your boots for helping you to pull them on. And I just cut them out the shape they need to be, fold them over. I utilize this as a belt loop, sew them up. And I'm not a leather worker. This is not good heavy thread, but so far it hasn't let me down. Anyway, I've got several sizes of these. I've probably showed them in some other videos. These come in pretty handy. I only don't keep them in my pocket because they tend to get lint and stuff on them real bad up in the pivots and stuff. But anyway, no, the, the large copper lock, typically comes with this big nice looking clip point um this this particular blade will get a lot of work done this is a factory swedge you know this is done the right way i was only trying to mimic something like that on my stockman um these are slim knives because they're single blade but they have a great lock um typically they have great action most of my well all of my copper locks are put together really well some of them suffer from a little bit of uh blade uncentered uh you know but some of them are good and some of them are a little more off to one side sorry about that guys i had something i had to tend to real quick um but as I was saying, I think this is where I left off. The, uh, the, the large copper lock, very uh, good choice for everyday carry. This knife is going to be able to get done just about anything you could possibly run into that you would use a pocket knife for. They also make these with a Warncliffe blade, which can be uh, really beneficial for like a utility blade. Um, people complain that when they go to use their knife for like food prep and stuff that they don't care for that Warncliffe blade but in most cases he'll still get the job done opening boxes um you know cutting tape cutting rope all that stuff so there's a large copper lock that's another good choice for uh an everyday knife just about everybody knows the sod buster uh junior in this case 
Um, this is my only sod buster, and uh, I tell you, the sod buster junior with these bone handles is um, really a pattern that I could I could start collecting. Um, but like I've got a ton of trappers, I'd like to have a ton of these things. It's just that I've uh, not really run across that many. Um, you know good deals i guess i'd say you can just about get a knife like this in the 50 to 60 range um this harvest uh well i guess it's autumn harvest with the shotgun shell shield is um a little more on the rare side but you can get these bone handled sod busters that look really good and they're a good size i think this is a knife is about three and five eighths closed um it's got a good blade for utility stuff, everyday stuff. Um, once again, like the copper lock, it's thin. And um, so yeah, this one happens to have a real good blade centering. This is actually a very well-built knife. It's got a slight gap right there, but that kind of stuff's never bothered me. Here's a mini trapper. And if you'll notice, it's the same whiskey bone. Um, I don't carry this one as often, so it's got a little more shine to it. This one here, it's a little shinier on the back, but this one here I carry a lot. And I guess this is a side that always gets all the, where the sheath rubs or something. But anyway, the mini trapper here, same deal as a large trapper. You get half stops on the mini trapper. So if you're a fan of half stops, that's a pretty cool feature. Um, you get a, a lot thinner uh, clip point. I'll go ahead and do a little comparison, I guess, while I've got them out here. So here's the comparison. Um, you know, the, the Mini obviously is gonna have a shorter blade, thinner blade, um, but it's still a really good size. This is another three and five eighths inch knife. And um, so that's just a good, a good pocket size. Um, like I say, I carry these mostly in a sheath, so the, the larger size doesn't bother me at all. If you're going to keep your knife in your pocket, that 3 and 5 eighths is a good size. Spay blade, this one's also in the chrome vanadium. I think all the mini, uh, all the uh, whiskey bone knives were chrome vanadium. Moving along, here's a uh, medium stockman. There's several versions of these knives. Um, you can get it with square bolsters, round bolsters. I'm going to probably go out on a limb and say the round bolsters are more common. This knife did something funny with me. I bought this off eBay, and both sides were, were pretty much orange like this. And something I used to clean this with, or maybe I rubbed it down with some WD-40 or something, it just totally turned that uh, cover black. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is definitely a good user because it doesn't really look that great anymore. It does have this shield, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I have another knife with that shield or not. The medium stockman has a very thin blade. Um, I'm going to say it's thinner than the... Uh, yeah, look at that. Sorry if I'm holding these off to the side. It's kind of the way I'm looking at it in the phone. But it's got a lot thinner blade. This is definitely one you could, you know, maybe pick the little nuts out of a, say, a pecan or a walnut with. Just a real thin clip blade. You definitely wouldn't want to be prying on anything. I don't recommend you pry on anything with a pocket knife blade, but people do it all the time. But yeah, you could get your typical blades with this one. Just like I said earlier, you're going to have a uh, cheap foot. This is not the not the nicest knife ever it's it's been used and sharpened and then you've got a uh, a small spade blade again this knife actually has pretty good action blades open and close real nice i don't carry this one all that often but i don't have a reason for that i just uh typically grab a bigger knife because this one here would get all all your typical chores done that's a um, stainless knife too, as you could probably tell. Now the last one I'm gonna show today uh, that I think makes a good carry knife. This is uh, my one and only Case Canoe. This is a natural white bone. And obviously you see that red case shield. I've never seen another knife like this. Um, I've actually looked 
for a knife with the same bone and, and shield combination and I can't find one. Y'all may have one like this. I don't know if they're rare or if it was a really short run they did, but um, but yeah, my late mother-in-law gave me this one for Christmas one year. And um, I don't carry it often because like I said, she gave it to me and, and her and my father-in-law are both passed away. So the knives that I got from them, you know, they kind of have a little sentimental value to me. Um, with a canoe, you basically get uh, like a spear point, and I guess you could call this a pin blade, or it's really just a smaller spear point. It's a little bigger than a typical pin blade, but um, this knife has good walk and talk as well. Good snap, good spring retention. This one's put together pretty good. I don't see any gaps in this one. The blade centering is pretty much what you'd expect with a two blade knife. Um, the, they keep these pretty thin because they don't have that middle uh, spacer so they're able to keep these uh, canoes pretty thin um, I like the canoes with the amber bone and the chrome vanadium blade and the Indian etch on the blade there but I haven't come up with one of those yet so anyway another real quick look at what I've got here this is my top three carried I have a jumbo stockman in the chestnut bone, large trapper in the whiskey bone. All of these are CV, these three. Amber bone, amber peach seed jig. And then like I say, a, a, a stainless trapper makes a good option. A uh, copper lock makes a good option. Sod buster, mini trapper, medium stockman canoe and there you go guys um if you like this video hit that like button please subscribe leave a comment that helps to get my channel uh to reach more people sorry this video was a little choppy i had something i kind of had to jump up and go take care of right in the middle of it so i'm gonna hopefully i was able to piece this together and make one good video out of it but yeah if you have any questions leave them in the comments uh let me know what what your pick was or if if any of these knives or what you carry every day um it'd be cool to hear what all y'all uh carry and what y'all think of, of what i've said here so all right guys y'all have a good day and we'll see you in the next one